Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITG Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish and today I have brought a very interesting problem from alternating current uh, with, which has some interesting geometrical uh, properties in this uh, question. So without much ado, let's look at this uh, question. Here it is. Uh, okay. So we have a circuit over here. In the circuit shown, the readings of all the three AC ammeters A1, A2 and A3 are all equal. So all the three readings are equal. That doesn't mean that their phase are identical because AC ammeter just measures the RMS current, right? So RMS current through all the three of them are equal. What are the values of L and C? We have to find out the values of L and C. We are given the values of these resistances as 100 ohm and 100 ohm, okay? So if you want, you can give it a try. I'll get into my analysis right away. So let's see. I'm going to solve this problem using two methods. Uh, one is using the first one is using the complex numbers and the other method is uh, using the phasor diagram okay so uh, it turns out that in most of the ac questions the complex met uh, number method uh, works out nicely although i am aware of some problems in which uh, it does help to visualize the phasors especially when there are special geometrical cases so in this one i'll be solving using both methods it turns out that complex number method is also very easy here so uh, okay so let's say the complex voltage is let us say V tilde, okay, uh, I put a wavy line to represent the complex number. So let's say complex voltage is V tilde and uh, what about the reactance or rather uh, impedance of this branch. So this is 100 ohm and uh, you know that capacitance has, uh, the capacitor has got a neg negative reactance of, uh, uh, I mean it has a reactance of minus Jx where J represents iota, right. So total impedance of this branch is 100 minus Jxc where Xc is the magnitude of reactance and J is iota, okay. So 100 minus Jxc, so this is the complex current through this branch that is V tilde divided by 100 minus Jxc. Why? Because uh, both these branches are in parallel. So whatever is the voltage drop across this branch, same is the voltage drop across the other branch, okay. So uh, a current can be simply thought of as a voltage drop divided by the impedance just like you have in uh, DC circuits, right? So a complex voltage divided by complex imp impedance. So this is the current in this branch. What about the current I3? So by the same logic, so now uh, inductor has got uh, an impedance of uh, J times XL or reactance of J times XL, the complex reactance and the, uh, so the current I3 is just uh, complex voltage divided by 100 plus JXL because these two are in series, okay? And what about the total current? So total current is like total voltage divided by, you know that it's a parallel uh, combination of uh, uh, two impedances. So 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. So that's what I've done. So complex voltage into uh, effective uh, impedance that is 1 by 100 minus JXC. That's the impedance of this. 1 upon impedance of this plus 1 upon impedance of this. So, okay? And now what do I know that I know that since I1 mod, I2 mod and I3 mod all three are equal. So I can easily make equations in these complex numbers, uh, rather magnitudes of complex numbers. And how do you find the magnitude of complex number that is real part square plus complex part square, right? So uh, when I write a symbol without tilde, it means just the magnitude, right? So, uh, so, so since I know that I2 is I3, I2 and I3 are equal magnitudes wise. So I can say that V upon under root of 100 square plus XC square, that's the magnitude of this, is equal to V upon under root of 100 square plus XL square. And uh, simplifying this, you get the magnitude of both the reactants as equal. So XC is equal to XL, let us say it is X, okay? Then I also know that I1 is equal to I2 magnitude wise. So, uh, and how do I find the magnitude? Uh, so you can just uh, uh, take the LCM. So denominator simply becomes 100 square plus X square and then 100 plus Jx plus 100 minus uh, Jx becomes 200. So left side magnitude is simply 200 upon 100 square plus x square, which happens to be a real number altogether, right? Uh, this The complex part vanishes when you take the LCM and add, okay? And this should be equal to magnitude of this. That's the, uh, the magnitude of current through the capacitor branch. So these two are equal and solving this, I get x as uh, 100 root 3, just simple equation. You rearrange and solve so x comes out to be 100 root 3 so therefore reactance of inductor as well as reactance of the capacitor are 100 root 3 now it's just a matter of uh, putting xl is equal to omega l and xc as 1 by uh, omega c okay so xl is omega l so l is xl upon omega that is xl upon 2 pi f frequency is given 
so inductance is simply root 3 by pi and if you want you can put an ohm sign here okay and similarly xc is nothing but 1 by omega c so uh, so i can say c is nothing but 1 by omega times xc that is 1 by 2 pi of xc put the values and you get uh, c as uh, okay uh, fine sorry here it should not have been ohms it should be henry it should have been henry and this comes out to be 100 upon root 3 pi microfarad okay so that's our answer using the complex numbers now i'll be doing it using the phasors okay so second method is phasor so voltage phasor across both the branches is same so this voltage and this voltage are same also in capacitor branch current leads and in the inductor branch current lags so uh, you know that in capacitor the voltage lags or I can say alternately that current leads the vol uh, voltage and in the inductor current lags behind the voltage phasor right so here it's a parallel circuit so it helps to visualize in terms of drawing the phasors relative to the generator voltage phasor okay so for capacitor branch let's say generator voltage is horizontal phasor and let's say current leads by an angle of uh, theta so what is the voltage in the resistor you know that in the resistor the voltage and the current are in the same phase so this is the voltage phasor ir and uh, the the uh, voltage in the capacitor part will be lagging behind the voltage in the resistor part why because voltage lags behind by a phase of pi by 2 so this angle is 90 degree 90 degrees so this is i2 uh, let me show you the figure so so with respect to this i2 the voltage in the capacitor is lagging behind by phase of pi by 2 that's why i have drawn relative to i2 i have taken 90 degree angle and drawn i x c okay and of course the vector sum of these two voltages should be equal to the vector voltage v okay or phasor sum should be equal to this v okay so what does that give pythagoras theorem gives you i r square plus i x c square is v square that's equation one and of course tan theta if you want to find out it is nothing but x c upon r that is i x c upon i r that's your tan theta similarly for inductor branch you know that current will lag behind the voltage phasor so this is again the voltage phasor let us say current is lagging behind a phase of phi so uh, again in resistor the voltage is in the same phase as the current i3 and uh, the voltage in the inductor that leads the uh, current phasor by a phase of pi by 2 so anti-clockwise pi by 2 i have taken this angle and this is i x l and the phasor sum should again be equal to the applied voltage so what does this give me pythagoras theorem i r square plus i x l square is equal to v square and tan phi is x l upon r so this is your equation 2 and this is equation 1 and you can see from equation 1 and equation 2 that x l and x r are equal okay r square plus x l square is equal to r square plus x c square so x l and x c both are equal to each other and let's say that's equal to x also since x l and x c are equal you can see that tan theta and tan phi both are equal okay so that means what the net voltage phasor is along the bisector of current phasors i2 and i3 why because this theta and this phi both are equal so i2 and i3 so v is nothing but uh, e uh, at equal angles with respect to both these currents or we can say voltages along the bisector of i2 and i3 which in turn are equal to i each okay okay uh, also uh, the phasor total current in the from the generator is the phasor sum of i2 and i3 and magnitude wise all these three currents are equal therefore i can say that uh, the generator current I1 is also along the bisector of I2 and I3, right? Because when you have equal vectors, the resultant uh, uh, is always along the bisector if the magnitude of two vectors is equal, right? So translating this into phasor diagram, so this is your, let's say, capacitor current, this is your uh, inductor current, uh, inductor branch current, and both these angles are shown by theta because uh, we have shown that they are equal. And this is the resultant current, which is also I, and so I can see that I cos theta plus I cos theta is equal to I that gives you theta is equal to 60 degree and of course XC by R was your tan theta you see XC by R uh, here uh, I wrote tan theta is XC by R so that gives me the value of XC as R root 3 that is 100 root 3 which is 1 by omega C and that again gives me same value of capacitance that is 100 by root 3 pi microfarad simply similarly xl by r is also tan 60 degree as we saw from the inductor diagram okay xl by r here you see um, xl by r is tan phi and phi was equal to theta so that gives me xl is equal to 100 root 3 which is omega l and then solving for l putting the value of omega 
you get again root 3 by pi henry okay so we get the same answer so that was my analysis for this problem uh, i hope you enjoyed the analysis and you got to learn something from this video and uh, if you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up and please share this video as much as possible with your friends through whatsapp discord telegram or whatever uh, medium you use for networking with them and uh, most importantly if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel right now and uh, please uh, recommend my channel to your friends uh, because uh, that's what keeps me motivated to do new videos uh, for all of you it, it makes me very happy when i see the subscribe subscriber count go up so uh, please share this video as much as possible with your friends and do remember to subscribe if not already subscribed thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all thank you